on storyboard today, marketing lessons from Aam Aadmi Party's election strategy. Leo Burnett, India's new CEO, Saurabh Verma on the road ahead. And Cadbury Oreo seeks to expand its brand appeal. Hello and welcome to Storyboard, I'm Pavni Mittal. Election fever has reached a high pitch in the national capital where 70 MLAs will be elected on the 4th of December. The most watched election before next year's general election. This is also the most interesting one we have seen from a marketing and communication point of view. The Aam Aadmi Party has emerged as a serious contender and not just on the back of its brand of politics but by using its limited experience and more importantly resources to segmentize and target voters using direct contact and social media. All this by building a large network of volunteers. Here's a report on that. It's the moment of truth for the Aam Aadmi Party. Born out of the India Against Corruption or Jan Lokpal movement, it captured the imagination of the entire country when it launched a year ago. With Delhi going to polls next week, the fledgling party is looking to energize the well-built support base and convert it to votes. I want to talk to you about the symbol and the kind of slogans that you have used. Now, these play a very important role at the subconscious level of the voter as well. How has this been designed to ensure that it goes beyond you know, the electorate, which is beyond your core target group, you know, your core, the people who join the movement, the people who probably empathize with the Aam Aadmi Party? How does it cut across classes and castes, the slogan and the symbol, more importantly, the broom? When we began, which is the Anna movement, the general perception, which wasn't entirely right, but there was a strong perception that we were primarily a middle class movement. And middle class in Delhi is a euphemism for the upper class. Yes. Uh, you know, people who speak English, people who watch shows of this kind, uh, that's, they, they like to call themselves middle class. In percentile terms, they are all 90 percentile and yeah. above. Uh, there was a perception that we were strong there. Uh, therefore, what we have done after that is to actually do an image maker, which is to say, align our image to what we really wanted to do. And the choice of the name reflected that. We wanted a name which would click. Which would, so yeah, which would work with an ordinary person, which would not be a very highly Sanskritic kind of a name. So that's why Aam um, So the very choice of the name, the choice of the symbol. Again, we were constrained. We've tried to turn a disadvantage into an advantage. Unlike big parties, we could not offer any symbol to the election commission and say this will be our symbol. No, we had to choose from a very small section of what the election commission calls free symbols. And we had strange options to choose from. There was uh, fridge, TV, all kinds of bread, all kinds of strange options we had to choose from. Then we saw Jharu there, mm. one of the free symbols. And we said, this is it. Uh, so we opted for that. We decided in the limited option that we had, we decided to opt for it. Uh, and thankfully, no one else claimed it. And what about people who are not, like I, I mentioned the word core mm -hmm. teacher, and you said you tried to you know, uh, reach out to the Aam Aadmi and by, you know, we are symbol and all of that. But in a city like Delhi, which has the highest per capita income and has 49% people living in slums, how do you, you know, manage to reach both the ends of spectrum with, you know, one campaign? Or do you, have you, have, have you designed your campaign differently for each section of society? Fortunately for us, corruption was an issue that cut across classes. Corruption is an illness which affects people in different ways, mm. but all of them recognize the illness by the same name. So uh, a very powerful, well-to-do businessman thinks he is a victim of corruption mm. and a rickshaw puller also feels he is a victim of corruption. Okay. So corruption is an issue that cuts across classes. For us to carry that issue was actually the real strength. Raising 20 crore rupees through donations, the party has steered clear of using print or TV ads and has opted for radio, door-to-door -door campaigning and use of social media. This building in central Delhi is the nerve centre of most party work, the planning, management and execution of which is being done by a large and comprehensive network of more than 1.3 lakh volunteers. I have been with the Yatra, the Jadu Chala Yatra one day. In a couple of days, I was with the auto team where I was supposed to stick these you know, stickers on the auto rickshaws. Mm -hmm. Then now I'm with the Metro Way, where again I'm using this uh, banner, uh, showing people and asking people to vote for. We also shout slogans and 
uh, convince you know people whom whom whomsoever we meet on the way. It's all volunteer. Nobody rings me up and says they say something is happening here today. Would you like to do it? If I feel I can do something effective for the party, and that's what's so beautiful about this party. There's nobody regulating you, pushing you, telling you these are your agendas. Door to door campaign में देखिए हमें ये देखना पड़ता है कि जुगी बसी जो हैं वहाँ अलग तरीके की problems हैं. और जो एलिट क्लास है उनकी अलग तरीके की प्रॉब्लम्स है तो हम हर समस्या के लिए हम उनसे उनकी समस्याओं के लिए बात करते हैं कि उनका क्या प्रॉब्लम है बहुत सारे देश भर में लोग बैठे हुए हैं आप मेरे इस पे देख सकते हैं अभी भी कहाँ किस चैनल पे क्या चल रहा है पार्टी के बारे में या कोई बड़ी खबर हमारे न्यूज़ के ग्रुप्स में आपको दिख जाएगा टी न्यूज़ में दिख जाएगा कहाँ क्या चल रहा है और ये सब चारों तरफ से वॉल्टियर हो रहा है कोई भी पेड नहीं है कोई भी प्रोफेशनली किसी एक रूम में बैठ के नहीं कर रहे हैं कि पचास लोग एक रूम में बैठे हुए कोई बेंगलोर में बैठा हुआ है उसको लगता है कि मैं चार चैनल ट्रैक करके इनके साथ रहता हूं कोई अहमदाबाद में बैठा हुआ है कोई पटना में बैठा हुआ है वो न्यूज़ ट्रैक करके देता है ये सारे लोग हैं जो कौन सा सर्वे चल रहा है क्या चल रहा है न्यूज़ में पोलिटिकली इंपॉर्टेंट हमारे लिए क्या चल रहा है वो सारा ट्रैक होकर अभी भी आता है आर वीकनेस वॉज वी सिंपली डोंट हैव द काइंड ऑफ मनी टू स्प्लर्ज ऑन द मीडिया कैंपेन we do not have the resources to run the campaign in the last 14 days only you need huge money to do that our strength was that we started early we could take decisions earlier than others we could decide our candidates 4 months in advance and we had volunteers this has been our real strength lots and lots of people who have given up their job who have given up their career who have suspended their family lives and who are out there like mad to work for the nation this was our real strength so we had to design our campaign largely focusing on our strength what do we do then auto campaign was one of the first ideas we needed a uh, we needed a campaign which would be accessible to everyone in delhi yet we could not afford any of these big things that's when the auto campaign idea came and it it's been a winner it's been a very big success door to door campaign made use of our volunteer strength we could go to people's homes we also had used this other thing which has disappeared now we had put up a banner in front of this every volunteer of our uh, party saying i am an aam aadmi mm-hmm. party supporter which would go to every small gali after that election commission ordered and we had to withdraw that but that was also a big winner uh, we've used tactics of this kind which uses our strength and uh, also it positions us as a party which is different Mm-hmm. which doesn't do the kind of things these big parties with big big money do and social media social media has been very important to us uh, a because of uh, its reach to its its rapid reach b the very few resources with which you can do third lots of volunteers from all over the world can run it mm-hmm. half of our social media campaigns are run by colleagues who are sitting in california or somewhere who want to do something for the country but do not want to, do not have the time to come to delhi to do it so we could use all these strengths to be able to do that with corruption as its main agenda the party is banking on the popularity of its biggest face on the streets of delhi on hoardings and flyers brand arvind kejriwal is brand aam aadmi party at an early stage of a campaign um an advertising agency came to us hmm. they came they advised us that arvind should look more proper he should look more more like a responsible chief hmm. minister that our campaign should be jazzed friendly up like this our slogans should be more more uh, friendly On more tarakhi, proper that's what i've seen etc etc we heard and they came up with lots of ideas of you know the usual corporate style we all sat and decided we would have nothing to do with it we are rank outsiders and the only chance we have is we if we continue to look like rank outsiders mm. politics is too much professionalized mm. people don't like it people like sincere straight people to look into their eyes and speak to them so we wanted to stand out for our less than made up mm. images and we insisted notwithstanding all the professional advice that we got free of cost uh we said no thank you very much we shall not be professionally hmm. we, we 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 do not want to be manicured hmm. we want to look the way we are we want to continue to carry the image we uh, have aren't you battling three armies congress bjp and congress and bjp combined because you know you've targeted both the parties how do you on ground translate the kind of support that you've got to votes 
and battling these three because you know the, it's very the, the very powerful forces not just monetarily but you know they've been around they have the kind of experience you told me that you know that has been your uh, biggest disadvantage one of your biggest disadvantages we are battling the political establishment of this country congress and bjp happen to be their faces in delhi when we go outside delhi we'll yeah. meet other faces and yes political establishment of this country is very powerful in terms of its levers of power in terms of money in terms of muscle power everything and yes we are trying to battle all of this simultaneously uh, in the course of this uh, our biggest challenge right hmm. now is to persuade our own potential voters to come and vote for yeah. us that's what we are trying to do to create a buzz for people to be visible for people to see who we are and to remain visible to the people till the last hmm. day is our challenge and for us visibility comes not from television visibility will come from cap visibility will come from people walking on the street mm -hmm. so we are designing our own campaign for the last moment while opinion polls have predicted a hung assembly the party is pulling all stops to ensure that its growing support base comes to the polling booths on wednesday in the last phase of its campaign up is generating buzz not just around its party but also the elections one of its biggest contribution it says will be the increased number of voters many of them first timers lots of lessons there not just for political parties but also marketers the most important of them being on how to maximize roi when monies are limited let's take a break here on storyboard coming up ahead leo bonnet india's new ceo saurav verma explains his vision for the agency